Good afternoon, everybody. Jay Douglas here with you. Time for another NFL podcast. As you can see, the divisional round games are set, and we will predict those games momentarily. But first, we got to figure out how we got here and how we did in the wild card rounds. So let's go ahead and shift our focus to that. So as you'll see, a record of three and three. It could have been a lot better because I could have taken the Lions here and I could have taken the Texans, but something told me that a road team was going to win. I just didn't know which road team. Speaking of that, very surprised the Packers beat the Cowboys at home. But I'm not, I'm not surprised by the Lions and not surprised by the Texans. And I think that the playoffs are so up for grabs. And I'm going to double down on something that I said late in the year. The Eagles. I picked the Buccaneers. The Eagles got killed. I told you guys I was not going to give them the Super Bowl. I told you I was not going to go ahead and write off a Chiefs and Eagles rematch. I told you guys that, and it came to fruition. The Texans get revenge on the Browns. That's something else I should have taken into consideration because the Browns had already beaten them pretty bad, and the Texans returned the favor. The Chiefs with a clean sweep over the Dolphins. If you remember, the Chiefs beat them in London, and that game was a lot closer. Now, Grant, the... There are a lot of different factors. You know, it was a true road game. It was in the elements. The Bills game actually got moved because of weather to Monday. And the Bills got off to a fast start. The Steelers, they showed some fight. But in the end, the Bills did come out on top. And not only did the Packers beat the Cowboys, they did it in dominating fashion. Now, Dak Prescott throwing a couple interceptions helped. And I'll double down on that and say Joe Flacco threw a couple second-half pick sixes. But turnovers are a part of the game. But you have to wonder, if that was not a thing, would the games have been different? And as far as the Eagles and Bucks go, I think the Bucks dominated. I mean, the Eagles did fight back a little bit, but they were never really the same. I think they were 10-1, and one, and they got beat at home b bad against San Francisco. And they had they'd never been the same since. Detroit wins their first... Playoff game since, I think, 1992, 1993, somewhere around there. And Jared Goff gets revenge on the Rams. So it was not a happy homecoming for Matthew Stafford, who played all those years in Detroit. Jared Goff gets the last laugh. And now the Lions get to host the Buccaneers, as you guys saw. The Texans are on the road against the Ravens. Packers in San Francisco against the Niners. Then you have the Bills hosting the Chiefs and a rematch of that game where Buffalo won. If you remember, Kadarius Tony got called for offsides. It was a whole thing. Now I wonder, that game in Buffalo, I wonder if the Chiefs, and we call, not me, but the media was calling it a Chiefs dynasty when they only won one championship. Now it's kind of a dynasty because they've won two championships. They've been to all these AFC title games. They've been to these Super Bowls. Will the Chiefs dynasty be over? So I'm not really confident on any pick. The only pick I would say that I feel pretty good about is taking the Niners. Now, that is kind of discrediting the Packers, but I think the Niners are a little bit better than the Cowboys. And I don't remember if the Niners and Cowboys played head-to-head, -head, but I think the Niners... Now, there's always a question of these one seeds coming off the bye. You know, they rested players for two weeks. How are they going to come out? But I, I think the Niners will find a way to get it done. It's just something about C.J. Stroud and this Texans team that I want to take them against the Ravens. And I guess I would double down and want to take the Buccaneers because I don't want to take just one road team. You know, I want to try and split it. Now, I th now it is safe to say we have clinched a, a winning record for the NFL season. But that being said, I still want to get these picks right. So I think I'm going to double down on what I said and take the Bills as they will beat the Chiefs. And actually, that's three years in the making. This is the third year in a row that the Bills have played the Chiefs in postseason. They lost in the AFC title game, I think, in 2020. And then in 2021, it was when the Chiefs scored with 13 seconds left or they got the ball with 13 seconds, and they scored. So the Bills will be erecting some of the demons there. I'm certainly more confident in taking the Texans than I am the Buccaneers. I mean, the Lions, it was a hard-fought game against the Rams. The Lions, you know, they've had to fight. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pick the Texans. I am. I think there's just something special about C.J. Stroud, D'Amico Ryans, and that team. 
and I'm going to take the Buccaneers as well, and not, not missing a beat with Tom Brady. So Tom Brady has certainly come in and established a winning culture there, and hats off to Todd Bowles taking over for Bruce Arians and that team not missing a beat in that regard. So I'm going to lock in those picks. A couple housekeeping things that I want to talk about. Jason Kelsey officially announcing his retirement. First ballot Hall of Famer, in my opinion. One of the best centers to ever play the game. Congrats on a, on a great career from him. Gerard Mayo taking over for Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick stepping down, officially resigning. Nick Saban retiring at Alabama. Those were the two big coaching stories. I don't know if I talked about that on my last podcast, but I definitely want to talk about it here. So give this podcast a listen. Make sure you go back and listen to our previous podcast. And don't forget to like and comment on this one. Like and comment on our previous videos. And again, don't don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We want to be able to grow this channel. We want to be able to continue to bring you engaging and enjoyable content as we go throughout 2024. So let me know who you're rolling with in the divisional round, who you think will play in the title games. With my predictions, it'll be the Niners hosting the Bucks and the Bills hosting the Texans. So the Bills and Texans, they'll be looking to go to their first Super Bowl in quite some time. The Niners have not been to a Super Bowl since... 2019 when they lost to the Chiefs. Now, I know they made the NFC title game, I think, three years in a row. They've not gotten over the hump yet. And the Buccaneers, of course, got to the Super Bowl in 2020 with Tom Brady and won it. They beat the Chiefs. I don't really know about the Ravens. I think the Bills and the Texans are a much better story. Now, on paper, the mo the more intriguing matchup is obviously Lamar against Mahomes. That would be, you know, that would break ratings, honestly. So, again, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will talk to you again next week, folks. We will only have one podcast. I think we're going to combine our NFL recap and our NFL picks in one podcast. And again, we're a couple weeks away from another NBA and NHL podcast as well as college basketball, so be on the lookout for those. But next week, I think we're only going to have one podcast for you. Don't You don't want to miss that, so stay tuned for more. We'll talk to you again. Stay safe. And have a great weekend.